Hey guys, it's Hotshot here. Today I'm, uh, I want to show you guys that I got the Vintage Guest League Gibbous. And uh, yeah, so my pizza cow mingler. Of course I'm going to want something. So, ever question about that? Um, I took a lot of trading to get it. I'll be eventually posting up a video of me trading up to a Vintage Gibbous. It will show what I traded, how I communicated, and etc. etc. And how I got pissed off at some of the traders because they were like really annoying me. And um, it is really difficult and very long thing to do. I'm pretty happy that I got it. I'm thinking about getting a vintage earbud. I don't know yet, but uh, eventually I will decide. Most likely I'm going to get the vintage earbud because I've been thinking about the vintage Queen Sparkle Lumorf. But an earbud does sound good right now. And hey, it's uh, one of the rare things you might not be able to see. A community Sparkle, you might notice yet. Why not have a vintage earbud and then get the community sparkle? Cause, so I'm just gonna probably do that. It's gonna take a long time. Uh, I believe vintage earbuds are going for like 10 buds. I, I don't honestly know. It's a very difficult thing I gotta do, and it's gonna be interesting once I get it due to the fact that, well, I'll be basically having the master vintage set. Um, I'm gonna actually do something real really quick. Uh, yeah. Okay, apparently vintage earbuds are around 20 buds. Um, I don't know if I can pull it off, guys. It's going to take a lot of saving up, but it's going to be pretty nice once I get the chance. But uh, definitely going to be trying to get a vintage earbud. It's like 20 buds, and, and I, I honestly cannot wait to be able to pull it off. I don't know yet. And it'll be interesting to be able to get this to happen. Anyways, um, yeah, the vintage uh, give us this pretty nice hat to be able to wear around and uh, amaze people with. It'll be pretty interesting to be able to uh, to be able to really have a vintage collection and the earbud be a nice add to the collection. And people are going to be extremely interested in it. Eventually, I might need to uh, stop trading in a bit while, because honestly, I'm achieving more than anybody had ever achieved before. And honestly, it's rare to see someone with all these vintages. And well, it's uh, very difficult to get to where I am today. It's uh, very entertaining as well. I mean, I just traded a Bill's hat for two mice because my one mouse broke down last night. It was pretty nice because I had to do a hand-to-hand -hand trade with someone I never met in my whole life, and it was quite interesting. I mean, he met up by a place I know, and he gave me two mice, one for me and one for Stephanie, and I got a Razor mouse and an HP net, uh, HP mouse. So it was interesting. So yeah, guys, that's what's new, and I have a vintage guest to give us, and I have every vintage I still own and a cow mangler. So thank you for watching, please comment, like, and subscribe, and do expect that videos of the tutorial or the steps of me getting it. It's like two hours worth of video footage. Alright guys, thank you for watching, please subscribe.